So speaking of economic stability, why does the U.S. invest in the economic development of Pakistan? Mm -hmm. I mean, what's in it for them? What's in yeah. it? So like, I'm assuming uh, uh, a taxpayer in America can question this, right? right. Uh, so, so brief us about that. Yeah. Uh, the Like I said before, I think uh, economic uh, partnerships and economic development is uh, an important part of the United States. It's why we are in uh, um, diplomatic missions around the world is to create more uh, um, economic trade, economic partnerships. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I, I can't, I don't have to tell you that countries that are economic partners are often more friends than foes, right? Mm. And something that is good for Pakistan is also good for the United States because our countries are going to be closer together. There's going to be more trade. I mean, did you know that the United States is Pakistan's number one export country? Yeah. Yeah. And so that creates a partnership. We want to invest in the U.S. U.S. businesses should invest in Pakistan. And, and then in turn, Pakistani Americans or Pakistanis can invest in, in the U.S. Uh, there are countless examples, and I know on your channel, of um, Pakistani Americans or Pakistanis who've gone to the United States and created businesses. That creates jobs. Uh, if Pakistanis here, they want to go to the U.S. and study I mean, that's money, and they decide to go to the U.S. instead of another country for their study abroad option. That's mm -hmm. money that is invested in the U.S. education system. Mm -hmm. I mean, tuition, the money that you're spending on books, the money that you're creating. The There is um, an open doors uh, report that comes out every year about money and uh, the education system and how uh, study abroad students bring in uh, and create jobs, right? And, and I forget the numbers. You might want to look it up, but, I mean, it's incredible the amount of the students that study abroad in the United States from all over the world, they create jobs, right? They create jobs for United States citizens um, on campuses and in the towns where they're going to school. Mm -hmm. And then what I think is, is interesting, what I think is super important is that we always forget, we always talk about the economy. Let's talk about the people-to-people -people ties as well. And it's important to, to me, it's to say to, to us, it's like if you're connected to an American and you're friends, and let's say you and I decide that we're going to go on a business venture together. And I say, fine, let's, let's move and create a business. Well, that business now become, is, cross, is international. Maybe we can hire some people in Pakistan to do some of our work. And maybe we create a, an office in, in the U.S. And that creates more partnerships, more people, back and forth, travel. I mean, all of it. It's important because both countries are better off. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So, Krista, as we see the energy crisis uh, are looming in Pakistan, it's, it's worsening day by day. So uh, is the U.S. Uh, supporting Pakistan in, 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 in order to tackle this, this problem? Yeah, I, I, we have, and we've always supported the energy sector in Pakistan. Um, I, we're watching this very closely. Uh, the U.S. mission in Pakistan supports the, the technical, the operational efficacy, um, and we've done a lot of projects um, that have supported um, adding wattage and, and megawatts. This is this is not my, my area, I will tell you. This is not my technical expertise. Um, so let me make sure I try to get this right, but uh, we've improving the planning process, the operational effectiveness, and uh, last month, U.S. Ambassador Donald Blum and uh, Prime Minister Shabazz Sharif, they actually um, went to Mangla Hydropower Plant, and that was one of the projects that we've been able to um, help refurbish and, and be able to get back uh, to the, the grid itself. Um, and we've also, with um, U.S. government funding, have built three dams in Pakistan, mm -hmm. and that has added what hundreds of watts of megawatts back to um, to the grid itself I mean the projects that we've we've had I think it's been it's been millions and, and millions of dollars uh, over the last you know 20 30 years that we've been investing in the energy sector in Pakistan and some of that has um, gone to all sorts of different sectors right the hydropower and we've done some solar we've done um, I believe we've even done wind and I uh, wind power so uh, we're looking at this for the for the long term for the future and mm. yes it is it is sad to see the energy crisis that we're in um, and that's why it's so important for the U.S. to invest and, and the investments that we're making um, are even more important now uh, but overall I mean the, the investments of the U.S. Have, have put hundreds of megawatts I think it's close to 780 megawatts back into the grid and that's we're talking 50 million people 
able to get energy um, because of the US investment. That's amazing. अगर आपने ये क्लिप एंजॉय किए तो पूरी वीडियो देखने के लिए कमेंट पे दिए गए लिंक पे क्लिक कीजिए और मेरे मेन चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करना नहीं भूलिएगा ताकि आपको वक्त के साथ साथ अपडेट्स मिलती रहे बहुत शुक्रिया